everyone and welcome here we are in our sanctuary ready to have a wonderful Simchat Torah celebration Simchat Torah means the joy of Torah it's the holiday each year where we celebrate the completion of our annual cycle of reading the Torah all the way from the very first book to the very last book and what do we do when we finish we start all over again so that our reading of Torah is an unbroken chain from year to year. So that's what we're going to do today. And it's going to be a little bit different this year. We are going on a journey through the five books of Torah. And we are going to meet a character from each of the five books and hear a little bit of the chanting of each of those books. And guess what? You're invited to come along. But first, let us begin our service with the call to worship, the Baruch Hu.
know, there's a great line which compares the Torah to something very delicious, something very sweet. It's sweet as honey. And there's this great tradition that used to take place throughout all the shtetlach, all the little villages in Eastern Europe, that when a child was old enough to begin the study of Torah, and that meant a very young, maybe four or five years old, they would celebrate by lifting the child on the shoulder of their parents, parading through the town, going to the cheder, the house of study, sitting the child in front of a desk, and on the desk was a writing palette with Hebrew letters, and they would put a dollop of honey on that writing ta tablet and invite the child to take his finger and dip it in the honey and taste the sweetness and receive the message that words of Torah are as sweet as honey. Sweet as honey. Shamaim ve et adrets. Hi, Shalom. My name is Abraham, and me and my wife Sarah, we're about to embark on a big journey to, well, actually, I'm not even sure where we're going. You see, God spoke to me and He said, Abraham, go, go to a place that I will show you. And if you do this, you and your descendants will become a great nation and you will be a blessing. And it was so strange the way God told me. He said, lech lecha, which means go to yourself. That's really strange. What do you mean go to yourself? But I think I know. I think it means go to find your true self leave this place, Ur, the place that you were born, the place of your father, the place you know so well, and go to this new place. There you will find yourself, and there you will be a blessing. So I'm going. <laughs> See you. 
Shemot Bene Israel Habaim Mitzrayma Et Yaakov Yishuveto Ba'u For him. And he is more than man. For look. He has seen God. Shalom, my name is Moses, and I feel as though I have been on a journey my entire life. It began when my mother placed me in a basket in the Nile River, and I was drawn out of the river by Batya, the daughter of Pharaoh, and raised as a prince in the palace. But one day, I saw an evil taskmaster whipping a Hebrew slave, and something came over me. I struck him dead, and off I ran to the land of Midian, where I became a shepherd. One day, when I was tending to my flock, I saw a bush, a strange bush burning unconsumed, and I heard the voice of God telling me to go back to Egypt and to tell the Pharaoh to let my people go. So back to Egypt I went. When Pharaoh finally relented, my journey continued as I led my people out of Egypt and crossed the Red Sea to the foot of Mount Sinai, where I received the Ten Commandments. Shalom. My name is Aaron, the brother of Moses and Miriam. And you don't hear as much about me as you do my famous siblings, but I was right there when all those things happened, all those things that you read about in the Torah and at Passover from the Haggadah at your Seder. I was there when Moses and I went to the Pharaoh to say, let my people go. In fact, I was the one who spoke those words, let my people go on behalf of God, because Mo, my brother, he was too tongue-tied. But perhaps the thing I'm most famous for is that I was anointed the first Kohen, the first priest. You know, we built a portable temple, the Mishkan, that followed us throughout our travels in the 40 years of wandering. It was a place of worship and a place of sacrifice. I was the one in charge of everything that happened there. And you know, we learned 
I think, an important lesson from that. Our Judaism, it's portable. It's not just in the temple. It's in our homes. It's in our hearts. We carry our Judaism with us wherever we go. Adonai El Moshe Bamid Bar Sinai Be'ohel Moed Be'echad La'chodesh HaSheni Bashana HaSheni Litzetam Me'eretz Mitzrayim Hi, Shalom. My name is Miriam, and I am the sister of Moses. And I was there when our mother placed Moses in a basket into the Nile River. And I was there when the daughter of Pharaoh drew him out of the river. In fact, the name Moses means to be drawn out. And I offered our mother, Yochaved, to be his nursemaid. And I was there on the Exodus, watching over and bringing comfort to our people who were so worried and nervous. And so I brought the women together and some of the men, and we raised our voices in song and dance. And the women dancing with their timbrels followed Miriam as she sang her song. Woo! And we felt so much better. Shalom, my name is Joshua, and I am one of the great protectors of our people during the time of Moses. 
when I led our armies into battle against our enemies. I am also a great man of spirit and of faith. And I was there when Moses, in his final address to our people, told them to follow the ways of the Torah, that it is not far away, it is not in heaven or beyond the clouds, but it is right here, it is close to them. When Moses' life came to an end, it was I who he anointed to be the next leader of our people. And he said, Hazak be'amatz, have strength and courage. And that is my message to you. As we step forward into the future, remember your faith. Chazak be'amatz, have strength and be of courage. Please join us in a communal aliyah. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach, Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Vahed, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim, Venatan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai Notein HaTorah. Elokam Navi Od Be Yisrael Kemoshe Asher Yado Adonai Panim El Panim Lecho Haotot Be Hamovtim Asher Shlacho Adonai La asot be eret mitraim, le faro ulcholavadav, ulcholarzo, ulchol hayad hachazaka, ulchol hamora hagadol, asher asa moshe. Elohim, et Hashemahim, the et Haaretz, the Haaretz, Haita Tohu Vavohu, the Hoshech Alpene Tahom, the Ruach Elohim, Mirachefet Alpene Hamayim, Vayomer Elohim, Yehi Or, Vayehi Or. Vayar Elohim et ha'or kitov. Vayabdel Elohim ben ha'or uven ha'choshech. Vayikra Elohim la'or yom velachoshech kara laila. Vayhi erev, vayhi poker, yom echad. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet, Vechaye Olam Nata Betochinu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Notein HaTorah. Miriam, take 
four. Hi. And Hi, Shalom. My name is Marion. Sorry. If you guys like to be able to do this, we're gonna get the giggles and we're gonna be here all day. Okay, okay.